in southeast New Mexico, there's a little town that me and Kathy love to go to on our journeys through the southwest. It's a little town called Lincoln, Lincoln, New Mexico. It was made famous by the famous Lincoln County War, where Billy the Kid and the Regulators roamed the streets and the hills around it. Pat Garrett, the sheriff that later killed Billy. Now Lincoln is a one mile stretch of road dotted with 125 year old adobe buildings. There's not a store, there's not a gas station, there's no modern homes, no trailer houses. If you want a pack of cigarettes or a gallon of gas, you're going to have to travel 20 to 25 miles in either direction away from the town to find either one. The President of the United States at the time of the Lincoln County War declared this one mile stretch of highway the deadliest road in America. Over 60 men died violent deaths on this one mile stretch of highway. Now in Lincoln it's just kind of dotted with 100, 120 year old homes. Some of them you can walk through and some of them are little businesses and galleries and such. But they're all authentic, with the exception of new roofs on most all the buildings, of course. There's the Dolan House, where one of the major players lived. And a little community church that sits off to the side. And this is a modern structure. It's the Billy the Kid Museum. Pretty neat little place, though. And this is a little gallery. You can buy it, go in and buy art. Again, this adobe structure is over a hundred years old. A little Catholic church that, of course, you can still go into, and they still hold services there. And they have a donation bucket you can put money in. This is the Juan Perone house. Billy the Kid stayed in this house for 17 days under voluntary house arrest. It's now a bed and breakfast. We stayed there in, I believe it was 06. It was like staying in a museum. We had the whole place to ourselves, And uh, even though we were the only ones in there, we whispered. It was truly an amazing experience. And this is the Wortley Hotel. It used to be a, a restaurant and boarding house during Billy the Kid's days. Now, once again, it's a restaurant and boarding house. And we stayed there in 07. Sitting on the porch, you can almost see the ghost out on the road. The rooms at the Wortley are, are just as you see here. No, telepho no telephones or televisions. Uh, it really keeps you in the, uh, in the spirit of the, of the little town. And this is the infamous Lincoln County Courthouse, where all of the drama took place around the Lincoln County War. And this is the Lincoln County Courthouse today. The exact same, with the exception of a new roof. At the window on the second floor, at the end of the building there is the window that Billy the Kid pointed a shotgun down and killed Deputy Olinger. It's really a, uh, a fascinating building to look at and to walk through. Inside, the window to your right here, this is on the second floor, and the window on the right is the very window that Billy the Kid stood, pointed the shotgun down hollered down, hey old man, and when Deputy Olinger looked up, Billy blew him away. And this is Deputy Olinger. And this is where Deputy Olinger fell after Billy the Kid shot him from the upper window. Moments before that, Billy had got a pistol and killed Deputy Bell as Deputy Bell ran down these stairs trying to escape. Billy didn't want to kill Deputy Bell, according to Billy, later, but he did. He shot him, and the bullet passed through the deputy and, and lodged in the wall. And uh, as you'll see here, the hole is still in the wall. They've covered it with plexiglass, but that is actually the hole that the bullet passed through the deputy and lodged into the wall. Outside, that deputy, Deputy Bell, he stumbled and and fell and died on this very spot right here. This is the Tunstall store. 
the hangout for the regulators and Billy the Kid. It, again, was the center of attraction during the Lincoln County War. This is Tunstall's store today. Identical, the same building, with the exception of a new roof. Inside Tunstall's store, everything is authentic. The floors are creaked. They have plywood run down the center so you don't walk on the old floors. The display cases on the counters you see there are the same display cases you see in photographs of 1880. Everything is authentic. It's amazing how they were able to just keep a hold of the stuff. This is another angle of, of the counter and the displays. We really enjoy this place. We've been to it uh, several times. Behind Tunstall's store is Tunstall and McSween, Billy the Kid's employers. They were both murdered by the opposing factions in the Lincoln County War, and they're buried right there behind the store.